Hey, in this video, let's see what it takes to exclude certain lights from the scene. So for example, I have a character here and my character has, um, as you can see in my outliner, I have one, two, three, I have three lights and then I have a sky dome. So one of the things that um, I realized when I set up the lights is that my stage, my background is receiving way too many lights. I like how the character has um, all of the lights being active, but I don't want my background or my environment or ground to uh, be affected by all of these lights. So in Maya uh, using Arnold, how do we exclude certain lights from certain uh, things when you rendering this out? So let's check this out. So for example, if I rendered this out, You can see right away how my uh, ground is receiving way too many lights, and I don't, I don't uh, want that. I do like how it looks on the character, but I don't want it on the ground. So to fix this, all we need to do is go to Windows, Relationship Editors, Light Linking, and then let's click on Light Centric. So once I'm here, I can choose, I can click on each light on the left, and I can see which objects in my scene are being affected by this light. So the sky dome is affecting every single mesh, which is fine. One of my lights in front is also doing the same, but then the lights on the back, which are two and three, I don't want them to be affecting the stage, or that's the name of my uh, ground. So once I simply deselect them, right, you can see what happens if I try to render this again. As you can see this time, the ground is not affected by all of the lights in the back and the overall image looks much, much better. So another thing you might want to uh, check out, if, if you go to Windows and go to Relationship Editors, instead of clicking on Light Centric, you can also click Object Centric. And that is the vice versa. So in, in here I can click on each mesh that I have in my scene and then based on what mesh I click, I can see which lights are controlling it. So essentially it's reverse of the other one. So in, in, this, uh, in my uh, scene, the body is being affected by all these lights. And if I click on the stage or the background or the ground, um, I can see that only two lights are being uh, used. The other two are being ignored. So it's essentially vice, uh, you know, another way to organize your lights and keep track to see what is best for your scene. All right, so I hope you found this useful and have fun setting up uh, beautiful uh, lights in your animations. Thanks for watching.